What YouTube channels are genuinely worth watching? Lemino is a personal favorite of mine. I remember when his name was topped in thems. Dead Meat. Even if you're not a horror movie fan. Fear funny and solid reviews, so I get to be informed and not have to sit through a 90 minute movie. That Final Destination 5 kill count was the greatest thing. Click here to see the uncensored version. Click hey, Yasik ducks. Defunct Land. He talks a lot about old defunct amusement park rides and attractions and also older television shows. Really interesting stuff and well researched. Yester World is also one I really enjoy, not as high production as Defunct Land, but he goes into attraction and theme park history, and why something was or was not built, I really appreciate the research done on those types of videos. Limino, if you like mysteries and history. Quality channel. Throwback to when he was named top 10 memes. Tom Scott. Nobody finds Tom Scott. Tom Scott finds you with randomly suggested, but moderately intriguing video titles, when you said one more video 3 hours ago and now it's 4am. Casually explained. His a she into you video is hilarious, and I still quote it to this day. So say she takes you upstairs, strips naked and starts riding on top of you having sex. Is she into you? Yeah, kinda hard to tell here, can't really say. Maybe she's Canadian, and she's just being nice. If also proud 95. I don't understand half of the flying terminology, but it's hilarious all the same. It's always a guess when the hot air balloon or Air Force One appears. Exerb 1A. He answers the best philosophical, scientific, and otherwise important life questions that you could ever ask. His videos are funny, impactful, and brilliant in a way that I truly think I'm a better person after watching him. Big recommend. And it funny af, if a little existential crisis endorsing. Oversimplified. Just watched their WW2 Oversimplified again for the third time last night. I love that one it's funny. 3 Blue 1 Brown. He always does a great job explaining topics, and I like watching his videos just for the visuals. Bon Appetit. Especially their Girl May Make series. I love the big happy fella that does all the fermentations. Ask a Mortician. Really anything by Caitlin Doughty Mo. I found her Titanic and Edmund Fitzgerald videos fantastic. Salmonella Academy makes science slash history videos, but is extremely sarcastic about them. Edit, watch his video on terror. Salmonella is probably one of the best YouTubes out there right now. Bill Wirtz edit, thanks for checking in him still a piece of garbage. He quit though edit, okay I guess he did not quit. It get grey, I need more tumbleweed content. Etho if you're into chill minecraft videos forgotten weapons, if you like to know the history and mechanics of guns internet comment etiquette if you want. Salvia. Jaden animations if you like to watch animated stories that are pretty funny so weird womble, if you want funny videos with a bunch of idiots playing games. Etho is the one youtuber I will watch every video from as soon as I can. It's been so many years and I don't get tired of his videos. I love how fast paced his series are in terms of progress each episode, and he's always so creative with redstone. Obligatory mobile formatting. For the really good quality channels that uploads once every century, Nerd City, just really good at making videos Michael Reeves, funny robot shenanigans that takes toll on a 4 feet 3 inch Filipino a few months at a time, would recommend. Let me know, documentary style content, very nice. Crowdcut, for exposing the Chisty video game company practices. Nexpo, Internet Mysteries and Horror. Samonella Academy, History with a Twist. Source, Interesting Science Stuff, stands tall as having the only good it read show in existence. Bill Words, Commentary slash music with interesting visuals. Rip. Quality as always, Quantity MO. Just wanted to point out that Bill Words is still alive and kicking. Has currently learning new computer graphics stuff, and is working on new songs. If you go to his website he is answering questions every day, honestly pretty funny. LGR slash lazy game reviews, retro technology, video games, interesting stories from the history of tech.
I'm not a big fan of most YouTube personalities, but LGR seems like a genuinely nice dude who is very knowledgeable about history of computer slash video games slash etc. I'm not even a gamer, but love watching all his videos. I have fallen asleep to his voice on multiple occasions, it's just really soothing for some reason. Deleted. Yep. I binged watched all of Tearzoo's videos. Then, in biology clap when we were learning about evolution, I couldn't stop thinking about the concept of organisms just spending their evolution points. Michael Reeves. Say it with me now, your ideas are bad, and you should feel bad. Mark Rober, Curse August in a nutshell, DK if I spelt that right, ETC edit, Curse just act there are added more. Can't remember them ATM. The infographics show is really terrible. Their facts are usually wrong. They have decent artwork, but make sure you double check everything you see on there, because they are wrong a lot of the time. They've had to pull videos before, because people who actually knew something about it called them out. Check out the video of the actual fighter jet pilot critiquing the video they did on fighter pilots. Call me Kevin and Rat Game. I love Rat Game. Helped me get through some dark, lonely times. Has such a great guy hoss also absolutely hilarious. Summoning Salt. Best channel on YouTube, only bad point is he uploads somewhat infrequently, but it's always worth the wait. Food Wishes is the best cooking channel I've come across. No fluff. No BS. Just clear, concise instructions. Every second of video is useful and Chef John doesn't waste your time with anything extraneous about himself. He's also got a decent sense of humor and the recipes are great. You might say he's the food wishes of focusing on the dishes. Crash Course. Crash Course is so great. There are so many wonderful educational channels. My top picks for a general audience are, Sea Show, Science for a general audience, Smarter Every Day, Engineering and Physics from a guy who is just so enthusiastic, CGP Grey, General Knowledge and Fun Facts, Wendover, Logistics, Minute Physics, Physics and Math for General Audience, if you are really into STEM you should really check. Out, Number File, Mathematics, Computer File, Computer Science, Periodic Videos, Chemistry, 3 Blue 1 Brown, Math Visualization, Tom Scott, Technology. Zefrank and his overly excessive descriptions of animal genitals. The hippos in reverse had me rolling on the floor. I love Drew Gooden. Has an ex-viner, roadwork ahead vine, but he does comedic commentary videos. He did a really good critique video of Lily Singh's show as well as a hilarious review of Jake Paul's tour. In the same vein, I also really enjoyed Annie Gonzalez's commentary videos as well as his DIY stuff that he did like imitating the bad ads on Facebook and Instagram as well as trying out crafts from 5 minute crafts and Troom Troom. Why'd you shout out the same guy twice? You suck at cooking is great. Other great cooking channels. Sam the cooking guy food wishes Joshua Weisman internet shook will edit. Also cowboy Kent Rollins. Thanks for reminding me slash you slash Sega Express. Have a seat with Chris Hansen edit. I also recommend Salmonella Academy. Sam Onella is ducking great. I like the Inuit Folklore and Freud episodes. Tom Scott for short very informative videos. I didn't need to know about this really short river, but now I do. First we feast, hot ones. The Gordon Ramsay hot ones had me in stitches, I couldn't breathe from how hard I was laughing. My mechanics. It's a dude restoring old rusty items, to perfect condition without any talking. There are other channels like that, which are just as good, but he has to most subscribers. Very relaxing to watch before bed. That dude is a madman. I love him. He's always just making new screws, and shining and filling the chis out of everything, so it's better than the original. It's insane. I think he'd probably be a very good serial killer. Cody KO. I could binge watch his series with Noel Miller, that's cringe, all day. Also, Danny Gonzalez and Drew Gooden are pretty dope too. The That's Cringe series is so funny. Literally every single one had me cackling god am you, Dread Rexler. Captain Disillusion. Super underrated. I totally agree, that guy is so talented. Ahoy, 
Ahoy is the very definition of quality over quantity, and if you want video game history has the best channel for it. How to cook that by Anne Riordan. She's some kind of food physicist or something, and in addition to her cooking and baking videos, she also posts videos debunking the clickbait videos from the content farms like Yummy or 5 Minute Crafts. Recently she posted a video debunking some misinformation about the coronavirus. It's the only YouTube channel I regularly watch and she's definitely worth checking out. YouTube. Yes. She's the best. I love red letter media. Must watch if you like movies. The best thing about them is they have something for everyone. If you want to watch Chiz movies get ripped apart, they have that. Best of the worst. If you want to watch in-depth reviews of some of your favorites, they have that. Re. View. If you just want contemporary reviews to find out if a movie is worth spending your money on, they have that too. Half in the bag. And if you want to watch a 116 year old serial killer with an addiction to pizza rolls bitch about Star Wars, you have that too, Mr. Clinkett. Drew Gooden. Well, that's the only channel on YouTube. Tom Scott. Lindsay Ellis. Second Lindsay Ellis. She rocks. Love her video essays on storytelling. Love the deeper dives into why movies were made the way they were due to culture. Wish she was able to do more. Legal Eagle covers topical news from a legal perspective, in layman's language, and also covers movies and TV shows, and how they perform from a legal realism standpoint. Informative and debunks a lot of the more annoying I'm not a lawyer but hot takes you see online. He also roasts r slash legalibus. The odd one s out. Amazing and very funny contact from everyday life. He talks about situations we all know. And if you like him, you'll probably also like something else it and Jaden animations. Geography now. Good videos on countries going from AZ with comedy and good info. NFKRZ. A Russian talking about topics inside Russia and some good fun content. Speaks English and subtitles Russian dialogue into English. Indigo Traveler. New Zealand a single user travel vlog. Goes to amazing off the beat places. Paolo from Tokyo, my favorite foreigner living in Japan channel rock game, the only gaming channel I watch, because it's not taken seriously weird history, title says it all every frame a painting, best film thesis channel on YouTube, but it no longer produces content but always rewatchable, I love geography now and rap game, gold to CGN getting a lot of attention nowadays. Scott Was, is a humors video game collected, and is worth a watch. I knew I'd find this if I kept scrolling. He knows the perfect balance between humor and information, and his jokes never feel forced either. Gus Johnson and Eddie Burback's channels are both amazing, and their podcast is hilarious. Boys support boys. For horror-based channels these are my favorites. Nexpo Nightmind Mama Maximum Spooky Rice Buzzfeed Unsolved has light humor as well. Literally the only thing Buzzfeed is good for. I love Shane and Ryan so much lmao. Here are some of my favorite YouTube channels that already have a lot of content out are, with a particular emphasis on food and irreverent humor, Adam Ragusea, cooking channel, has some recipes I plan on trying in quarantine. Recommended watching, New York Dash style pizza at home, V2, Zero Oral Noughts, they did a full length DBZ abridged style parody dub of the first 6 Star Wars movies. Recommended watching, Star Wars Ep 1, GD Party Baumgartner Restoration, Cleaning and Restoring Old Paintings. Recommended watching, The Restoration of Avenue Mariah Narrated Version Binging with Babish, Cooking Food Scene in TV and Movies. Recommended watching, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia Special Brandon Rogers, If 2010 Style Yatub Sketch Comedy Never Died Out, and Was Actually Funny, Very Irreverent. Recommended watching, Paul Monitor Helen Characters Welcome UCB, short form comedy by a theater troupe in New York City. Recommended watching, JRR. Tokeen freaks out over Hobbit milk how to drink, like binging with babish, but with booze. Recommended watching, Broke My Toe Making a Flaming Mo Kitchen Nightmares, good for watching, after you try to cook, lets you go at least I didn't duck up this badly. 
Recommended watching, Ramsay is served steak in a roof tile and cannot get over it Lofty Pursuits, a Florida-based candy company that makes lots of hard candy by hand with vintage equipment. Recommended watching, Victorian banana candy, or why does banana candy typically not taste like bananas? On Cinema at the Cinema, an adult swim movie review channel staffed by Tim Hedeker and Greg Turkington, that is more of a saga, is so incredibly elaborate that it has its own cinematic universe. Recommended watching, S1, Ep. 101, The Man with the Iron Fists and Flight Steve 1989 Marinefo, reviewing all sorts of military rations, old, new, delicious, and disgusting. Recommended watching. 2008 MRE Vomelet Review, Veggie Omelette, one of the worst meal ready to eat menus taste test techmoan, reviews all sorts of technology with a focus on audio and hi-fi equipment. Recommended watching, the record run of The Onion, they have more than a decade's worth of parody news segments. Recommended watching, special boy with freakishly large brain wind spelling B Townsend's, cooking 18th century food with eerie accurate equipment. Recommended watching, fried chicken in the 18th century, I love Steve 1989 Marinefo. The dude is super into his reviews, has a great calm presence, regularly saves pieces of his MRE to share with other MRE enthusiasts, and I also find a lot of the reviews really interesting. I think he came out with another review yesterday too. Binging with Babish. He's not even a professional chef, like cooking's just his hobby, and yet he's so good at it. And he's got this deep smooth voice too. Veritasium is pretty interesting. Smart era every day since we are in the topic. Video goma donkey ba ba I, 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 I. You mean the guy who holds the record on Bozer's big bean burrito? Anthpo, funny, Anna Rakana, gives good advice, a flinet, funny, Michael Reeves, funny and slightly educational, but definitely not for kids lol. The funny thing about Michael Reeves is that his humor is distinctly high school humor, but his projects are actually dope. Samonella Academy. Huzza, a man of quality. Daily Dose of Internet. Hello everyone this is your Daily Dose of Internet. Brandon Rogers. His sketches are like early Yatub videos, but with an HD camera. Not for people who get easily offended. Life of Boris. Vadim Blatt. Demo Ranch. They test out so many different weapons and do strange tests, but it's entertaining as hell and definitely worth a watch. I have never shot a gun in my life, yet I watch those videos, like I know WTF has talking about. I just wanna see a bigger bullet go through some stuff. Townsend's. A historical reenactor with a cooking show, where he makes 17th century America dishes in authentic, enough, environments. He also does a lot of videos about the quality of life and how they used various tools. Has just super passionate about what he does, it's very endearing. Bro that channel always makes me feel so cozy. Spiffing Britain let's game it out. Holy chis I made it to a reddit list. This calls for a celebration. Also good recommendation on let's game it out. If you're into car stuff, mighty car mods, Chris Fix, old tech slash audio equipment, Techmoan, old tech slash computers, the 8-bit guy, current slash future tech, MKBHD, electronics repair, Louis Rossman, Tranix Fix, Volta those are just some of the channels that I watch regularly and enjoy. Technology Connections is another great old tech channel. Bernadette Banner. I love her and Kirolina Zebrowska. Oversimplified. How has nobody said source yet? Open fridge hey, source, Michael here, when will you die? Anus anus. Only going to be around for another 6 months. Anus. 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 Defunct land. Does detailed and super interesting videos on defunct theme park attractions, as well as former TV shows. They just did an episode on Between the Lions. Slow mo guys is just mind blowing. Bold and bankrupt. It's about a bold and bankrupt Englishman that travels the world and looks for danger. He uses positivity while looking for the most dangerous street in a country, finding out that there are good people everywhere, making connections with them, and finding out about them. 
He went deep into the Jeston to watch the Kabob vs. McGregor fight. He went into Chernobyl. He went to a militia controlled area in Bolivia and brought coca leaves with him. He has been in Russia a lot and former Sovjet countries. He went to India when he was younger, started a hotel there, got bankrupt later on in life, and started his id channel. He also went to Cuba with a girl, friend and they smuggled a stray kitten with them back home. That whole video is a hilarious adventure. The guy walks into ghost towns, gets chased by wild dogs, and just laughs at them. He's pretty fearless. His comment section often makes the following joke. Bald has 100% charisma and 0% intelligence. Super entertaining channel with rabbit hole videos. My top find of my recent it memory. It quickly became my favorite channel. Top content. Best vids from him was his encounter with two elderly PPL in a village near Chernobyl. And made another video a month later giving them food and vodka. Very wholesome guy. Adam Savage is tested. Watch Adam Savage excitedly build stuff in his workshop. That man is a national treasure. Two set violin. This. I don't even play any instruments or know, well, knew before I started watching them, much about classical music, but they are genuinely entertaining, and can make anyone fall in love with classical music, and learn a bunch of stuff about it through comedic videos and silly games. Even if you don't feel like getting into classical music, which will still probably happen, if you watch them, it is really interesting when they analyze music scenes from shows and movies, and show how realistic they are. Plus they are just naturally sweet and funny guys, not to mention actual violin professionals. Strong recommendation. Good Mythical Morning. Tested. Kevin James. Trust me. I like to make stuff. Fairbairn Films. TAF 316. Lmeo Fairbairn Films gotta love our Aussie content. Ask a mortician Caitlin Doughty is a US based mortician all about breaking taboos and getting us all talking about death. Wonderfully macabre without really being too morbid. She's written a couple of books since, and I'm an absolute fangirl. Killian Experience is one of my favorites. Guy's absolutely amazing. That guy is a bombastically talented writer. His soul silver video's amazing. Lazy Game Review still holds up after all these years. If you're into old computer tech this is the channel for you. For some organization, it'll list them by some title. These are the less popular ones I've watched recently. General comedy slash chill vibes, emo, cold ones, including anything for views, Twomad, and his other channels, Super Mega, Let's Plays and Live Action, etc. Brutimus, Dashy Games, Gamma Plays. But does live action skits on Dashy XP, Dsklat, including Thwicklis Lap, Skippy 62 Able, LA Beast, Shine PhD, even though he doesn't make vids anymore, his content was good. Michael P, Nalassi I Niles, Rocket Jump, Sethical, Vix Crepividia Seating Slash Competitive Eating, Steve the Rabbit, Eric the Electric, Badlands Chugs, Beard Meets Food, Al Wei Shungri, Nelazissa, Molly Squilla, Matt Stoney Cooking, You Suck at Cooking. Binging with Babish, not channel bound, but anything with Matty Mason. He has his own channel, just search his name and you'll find it. Exercise slash fitness, The Body Coach TV, Shaw Strength Horror slash Spooky, SCP Animated, Tales from the Foundation, Rainbot, Nexpo, SCP Illustrated, Barely Sociable, Llama Arts, Animate Scary Stories, Animated, Lumpy Touch, Felix Colgrave, Llama Arts, Lord Bung, has high quality animated series surrounding SCP, Narmak, Zlinky Arg slash Pain Project slash Video Series, Abstractions, Align Tutorial, Blackout, Daisy Brown Easy Go Solutions, Ekvinet, Everyman Hybrid, Eimerimari, Kaiser Foundation, Lasagnicat, Petscop, Post Content, This Room Does Not Exist, Tribe 12, The West Records Animals, Heavy Crab will probably edit and update as I go through my subscription list on Yautab Edit, added a few new categories. How to cook that, she's an Australian baker and food scientist and her videos are super entertaining, and she even has some debunking videos from channels like 5 Minute Crafts and Blossom. She also has some really great recipes to try out. Titch Quickie. 
3 to 4 minute videos of only 5 topics about technology primitive technology, man looks at human advancement through the ages and thinks, I can beat that score, proceeds to make awesome videos of him building chis in the jungle, cursed just agged, early 5 science videos, fits, actually funny video game best moment videos, seems scripted, but I still piss myself laughing. Dead meat. He does kill counts on horror and other movies. His commentary is funny, and you can watch a full movie condensed into 10 to 20 minutes. Play sus it focuses on the kills, so you get to see the best parts of the movies. Jenna Marbles edit, thank you for the award. But please don't be rude about Jenna's dogs. The dead one, nasty boy, the watermelon that owes her money, and giraffe are the cherry on top that make her channel so amazing. Frederick Knudsen Rare Earth Company Mansa Pensa slash Leoe 86 slash Advchina Wendover Productions. Fred Nud Yeeee Boy. Veritasium Mark Robo Daily Stoic Psych 2 Go Red Frost Motivation. Summoning Salt. Made me actually love speedrunning, as opposed to just occasionally watching them for the lols. If you like his style, he nicks a lot of his aesthetic from John Boyce, who does traditional sports stuff. Lockpicking lawyer. Oh my. You watched until the end? That's ducking awesome dude. Thanks for watching.